Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. So in this particular video, we are going to solve few SQL related questions which is generally asked in interview. And this is the most important interview question. So before going to interview, you should definitely watch this. So let's understand the question. My first question is like write a query to find out the employee manager details from an employee table. So you can see this is the employee table which is given here we have a employee id employee name manager id and the department information and from this table only i have to find out who what is their employee name and what is their manager name so you can see this john can be a manager of alice alice can be a manager of blob blob can be a manager of charlie right so there can be a multiple possibilities so how actually we can find out the employee name as well as the manager name from this particular table that is the first question this is a little bit tricky that actually we are going to solve the second question is like write a query to find out the cumulative sum of the salary or the rolling sum of the salary so this kind of the question generally ask in interview so let's understand the first question so they will give you scenario like this so they will give you this table so this is the first table in this table I have an employee ID, employee name, manager ID and the department. Only one table is given employee ID, employee name, manager ID and the department. And what is the output we want? We want an employee name, we want a manager name and we want a department details. So if you will see here we don't have any manager name information. So how actually we will find out the who is the manager, what is the manager name. So if you will see the scenario can be you can see the employee. So John. He can be a manager of Alice, right? Alice can be a manager of Blob. Blob can be a manager of the Charlie. And this can be a manager of Charlie. So there can be a multiple position, right? So from this employee name only, I have to find out the employee name and what is the manager name. So how actually we can solve this? So what I will do from this table, I will perform a, a join. So what I will do? I will perform a join based on this employee ID and the manager ID. So I will perform a, I will use the same table on the same table only I will perform a, a join based on the employee ID and the manager ID and based on their uh, employee name I will find out uh, what is the employee name and the manager name so let's see how actually we can write a query for that so what I will use select a dot employee name I will tell you what is a uh, a, a means employee name comma b dot employee name so this uh, alias I will give as a manager name manager name that is the and uh, we will find out a dot department from which table employee 4 table from employee 4 a so this table we are doing a left generate so employee 4 I am giving a left join left join same table employee 4 b on what i will write a dot manager id equal to the b dot manager id manager id so this is the query which i am writing so what i am doing i am using the same table and in the same table only i am performing a left join so based on their manager id and the employee id this is the employee id this is the employee ID based on their manager ID and the employee ID I am performing a, a left join now let's see what will be the result we will get now if I will execute this you can see John manager is no John manager is null Alice manager is a John blob manager is a John Charlie manager is Alice AV manager is a blob so if I will show you the actual table also now after that let me tell you so if you will see employee id 1 and uh, for john uh, manager id is null so no no manager for the john that is the correct result now second id alice alice manager id is 1 what is the manager id 1 john right so i am getting the alice manager is a john for employee id 3 blob his manager id is 1 what is the manager ID 1 means John so John is the manager for the blob also for Charlie what is the manager ID 2 manager ID 2 is Alice right so for Charlie manager name is Alice 
for AV, it is a 3. What is the employee ID 3? It is a blob. So blob is a manager. So I am getting the result. So like that actually you had to perform the uh, join. You had to perform something kind of called a self join on the same table and you had to get the results. It's a little bit tricky but do practice it. You will get a better idea. So that was the first question. Now my second question is like I had to find out the cumulative sum of the salary or the rolling sum of salary. So this kind of the question also generally ask in interview. So how actually we can write a query for that. So what you have to do select star comma sum salary over suppose order I am doing order by employee ID employee ID as RN from employee table from employee table now if I will execute this and if I will show you you can see I created one uh, cumulative sum column so how actually it is working cumulative sum means you have to sum up from the uh, below so you can see 70,000 then 80,000 so 70,000 plus 80,000 uh, 150,000 right then 150,000 plus uh, 75,000 so you can see this uh, this came two time right so what actually it is doing 150,000 plus 75 plus 75 means we are getting the 300k now what is the 300k plus this also is a duplicate record 6 plus 6 so 42 then wh what is the 42 plus 55 475 what is the 475 plus 70,000 545 so like that it actually it works so uh, what actually cumulative sum is you have to sum from a next salary and you have to get the result like uh, suppose on January 1st you had a 70,000 sale now on 2nd second, second of January you had a 80,000 sale so what is the total sale 70,000 plus 80,000 that is a 150,000 right now on the 3rd of January you had a 2 more sale so till 3rd of January how many total sale so this will be the total result right so that will become a 3 lakhs now on 4th of January you had a 2 more sales so till 4th of January how many total sale we have a this many total sales now 5th of January we have this many sales what is the total sale this many on uh, 6th January we had uh, this many sales what is the total sales this many so like that actually it helps so cumulative sum and the rolling sum this is an important interview question so do practices yeah that's it in this so thanks